I'm your boss. You work for me. 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 I'll show you how to swap a face in a video. Swap a face with hair. Swap entire people. Add a new background. Animate an image. And even create long video animations using these powerful new features. Introducing the new when animate workflow. Now featuring the mask switcher node. With this node, you can easily choose which part of your input image you want to replace in the input video. You can select between face, hair, body, clothes, accessories, or background, and use them individually or together for full creative control. The One Animate Workflow with Mask Switcher, giving you complete control over your video transformations. Let's get started. We have three types of One Animate Workflows. The first one is used to animate your entire image using your input video. This workflow copies the human pose and facial expressions directly onto your image. Just upload a video and an image, set the length and video size, and you're good to go. I set the frame rate to 15 FPS, but in the end, you'll get 30 frames per second, thanks to the frame interpolation node. This way, we can double the length of our videos from 5 to 10 seconds. If you want to make your video even longer, just adjust the skip frames we used before and start generating the next part of your video. For the best results, I added a first frame node that you can use to restyle the image and set it as a reference. I'll show you how. Run the workflow until the first frame appears, then stop it. Next, choose the Hydrium Restyle workflow to add a new style and use it as your reference. That's it. Right click on the image, copy image, click on the load image node, paste the image, select a style or write a prompt. Copy the new image and paste it into the one animate reference image node. Write a simple prompt, man smiling. Our video is ready. Let's go to the next workflow. The next workflow includes a masking node called the points editor. It's a powerful tool that lets you mask anything you want and replace it with details from a reference image. Here's how to use it. Add your input video and reference image. Then run the workflow until the first frame from your video appears in the masking node. Stop the rendering and place the green points on the parts you want to mask using the left mouse button while holding the shift key. Then place red points on all the areas you don't want to replace. To delete points, simply right click on them or use the clear canvas button. Place a green point on every part of the person you want to replace. You can use as many or as few points as you need for masking. OK. The third workflow includes an auto-masking node where you can select between face, hair, body, clothes, accessories and background. Just toggle the switch and it will automatically create the mask. With this option, you can easily replace the face, face with hair clothes, or even just the background, all with a single click. In this example, we're using only the face masking option. You can enable multiple options at once, or use just one, depending on what you want to replace. 
How do we create long when animate videos? Yes, any length is possible. We just need to render them in 10 second chunks and then combine them in a video editor. Let's say we have a 16 second video. I set the length and start rendering. Then, I use the skip frames node and set it to 9 seconds. This way, the workflow starts using the input video from the 9 second mark. Next, we import the rendered videos along with the original input video into a video editor. Using the audio as a guide, we synchronize the clips and add a small transition between them to make the result seamless, since there might be slight inconsistencies. You can use the last image from each render as the reference for the next part but this can slightly shift the likeness. So I recommend using only one reference image for all parts you render. One, two, three, four. Mommy don't know that it's getting hot at the This workflow includes a model downloader and a custom node downloader. They will automatically set up all the models and custom nodes required by the workflow. Okay, let's go.